Hi, Bruce from Safari, and we're doing an endurance test today. So just to remind everyone, BMG down here is running. That's a bi-directional motor generator. Peter have asked me what the letters stand for. Um, and we're charging these batteries, but it's charging them so fast that we put the inverter on the load here. And we're running uh, loads in the factory here to take some of the energy out. Uh, if we have a look at the Victron screen here, Coming out of the BMG at the moment, charging is 7944, more or less 8,000 watts. And if I come over to our uh, CAN screen here, you can see we're doing 154, 155 amps at 51 volts. If you calculate that, that's the number on the screen there. And then we've got temperature sensors on the motor there. We've got three on there. And so let's just have a look at the temperature sensors on here and they're running uh, the inverter at the back 67, 95, 93 on the motor. Well, let's have a look at the VRM here, see the results of the hybrid alternator, the BMG as we call it. This chart here, the line here that I'm pointing to, you can see it there in the blue, is the motor current, and it's gone from, it's been hovering there around the 150 amps, according to the Victron shunt, that is, uh, the black line is the voltage, and the purple line here is the temperature, the back one right near the inverter. So you can see we ran it here, ignored the time frame on the bottom, it was on UTC. But uh, we started here, going from the start point here to the end is to here is about two hours. And so in that two hour period, you can see the current was constant the whole way, very smooth. The voltage here rose up very nicely. And then the current here started to drop back a bit because the uh, battery was saying that it was getting charged, that it didn't need as much current. We did not have it CAN connected here. We had it running purely on the voltage. So this test is as if we had a lithium battery with uh, no CAN connection at all, a generic uh, battery. And then once it hit up here, which was uh, how we, that was the trigger voltage we had for it, then it totally uh, turned off and it did that uh, perfectly. Now the temperature rise here had gone up very little from uh, 90 to, it went up to 96 after two hours. And then when the current dropped, so you have a look here, the current here is 100 amps, that's about five kilowatts, the temperature is falling. So at eight kilowatts, slowly rising, five falling. So probably the temperature won't rise somewhere around seven, seven and a half kilowatts. I think it's just a fantastic result. How good's that?